hello hello so guys uh welcome uh in this video so in this video we are going to know how we can uh, perform a chi-square test uh using uh, starter so chi-square test is used to determine if uh, there is a relationship uh, between two categor categorical variables so by now you know what uh, is a categorical variable so let's begin so in this video we are going to use example of data set that are uh, already installed in starter so click file and then go example data set and then let go example data set installed with starter so the one that you're going to use is this one nls nlsw88 dta so let's use it so let me browse this data so that we can have a clear view of what we have so we have these variables id code age race married never married so all of that so we have that one those are our variables so as i have said uh, in a crisis square test we test the relationship between uh, two categorical variables so in this from this information on from this data we can test if there is a relationship uh, between race and marriage so we have race and marriage so these are two categorical variables we can test if uh, there is any relationship between uh, race and uh, you being married so how can we perform that so to do that you go to your graphical user interface click statistics summary tables and then go to other tables uh, sorry go to frequency tables and then click two-way table with measure of association okay so from our, from this we can select our row variables the first categorical variable you can select to be raised to be our row variable and then our column variable let's select it to be married so let me submit okay so from this information we have white people from race we have white 487 of them are single uh one one thousand one hundred fifty are married so we have a total of one one point one one thousand six hundred and thirty seven white people so we have black black americans or black people uh 309 are single 274 are married 583 total of black people in this data so other population other races we have eight of them are single 18 are married and uh, and the, uh, a total of 26 so can we perform uh, a chi, a chi-square test so you can still go to statistics summary tables summary tables go to frequency tables to way with measure of association okay so we had already followed that process so we didn't click okay so we, we will get this window so we can select pearson chi square pearson chi square we can select pearson chi square okay then we submit so we have our results so the command is tabulate trace married chi squared so from here we have the p-value of our Pearson chi-square so remember uh, in a chi-square test we are going to test uh, we have our null hypothesis is uh, there is no relationship uh, between marriage and race and uh, we are going to test it against our alternative hypothesis that uh, there is a relationship between marriage and race remember the our null hypothesis there is no relationship between between these two categorical variables that is race race and married and our alternative hypothesis is that there is a relationship between the two categorical variables that is race and married so from our test here we have our, our p value of our Pearson chi square is 0, 0.000, meaning that this p value is statistically significant at 5% significance level. Therefore, from because this p value is statistically significant, we are going to reject our null hypothesis and have it that uh, there is a relationship uh, between uh, the two categorical variable that is race and marriage. Okay, also, so guys, uh, that is how we do a uh, Pearson chi squared using, uh, using starter. So I hope you found this video useful. Please click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. Thank you.